The Controversial Outlaw John Wesley Hardin John Wesley Hardin was a controversial outlaw and gunfighter. As a young man, he often gets into a fight and killed a man for the first time when he was 15. It was followed by a lot of killing and he made himself famous as a bloody, thirsty figure in the Old West. At the end of this video, you will discover that John Wesley Hardin did not live his whole life killing people. You will know why. Hardin's killings went on. After he killed four people in 1868, he knew that if he returned home, he will be arrested. He became a fugitive and traveled to Navarro County, Texas with a fellow outlaw, Frank Polk. The lawmen got hold of the two in which Polk was jailed and Hardin escaped. Hardin had many nonsense killings. One was when he shot a man in his eye. The reason is to win a bottle of whiskey in a bet. On another occasion, he and his cousin, Simp Dixon, encountered a group of a soldier and each of them killed one man. One night, Hardin was playing cards with Benjamin Bradley. Luck was with Hardin that night and was winning almost every hand. This got Bradley very frustrated and he said that he would cut off Hardin's liver if he won again. Bradley drew out a knife and a six-shooter. Hardin excused himself and he said that he was unarmed. Bradley did not stop. He came looking for Hardin all night until he saw him and he shot Hardin. Hardin missed the bullet. Hardin would not let this pass. He drew his two pistols and shot Bradley one on the head and the other on his chest. Hardin was involved in many gunfights. In 1871, two Texas special policemen, Green Paramore and John Lackey, and two freed men. In the following year, he noticed that he was being followed by two Mexicans in Corpus Christi, Texas. Without knowing the clear intentions, he shot one of them and he fell from his horse, and the other one quit the fight and ran off. Hardin was always being chased by lawmen for almost half of his life. In 1877, he was caught and he was sentenced to 24 years in prison because of murder. It was very surprising that at the time of his sentencing, he admitted that he killed 42 men. Contrary to what the newspapers say, he was associated with 27 killings only. There was no explanation why Hardin tries to exaggerate the number of his killings when he knew that every murder adds up to his years in jail. While in prison, Hardin had a calmer and peaceful life. He even studied law. When he was released in 1892, he started a new life in Gonzales. He worked as an attorney and he ran for politics. However, he was unsuccessful. He was then relocated to El Paso, a violent town where demands for legal services are limited. He could even spend more time at saloons and practice arguing than in court. The El Paso Sheriff tried to make their town less violent by outlawing the carrying of a gun. El Paso officer John Selman arrested Hardin's girlfriend when she was in the city and caught carrying a gun. After Hardin learned this, he got mad. For many years, he does not seem not to learn how to control his temper. He threatened Selman for arresting his girlfriend and a lot of bystanders hear their argument. The same day, Selman looked for Hardin all over the place, and he found Hardin in a bar throwing dice. He just walked up behind Hardin and shot him in his head. You have just discovered another fascinating story on an Old West outlaw. Watch the next video to discover the story about the Horrell brothers.